Hello. How y'all doing? Of course, you know, I gotta play around with this. It is April 15th. We're already halfway through April. Next week is Easter. Next week is Easter. That's just crazy to me. It feels like yesterday was just like January. Now we're talking about Easter next weekend. So that just blows my mind. Um, you know, it's true they say as you get older time, you know, flies by even more quickly. And guess what? It does because this weekend I was working on, you know, future Facebook Lives and stuff and you're trying to plan ahead. And um, it just, it does, it just blows my mind that we're already halfway through April. It's crazy. So here we are, April 15th. How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a great weekend. Um, what did we do? We didn't do much. Saturday, normal running errands and stuff. Um, yesterday, I actually woke up yesterday morning feeling kind of crummy, but I'm going to blame the weather because we went from 70s down to 30s and rainy and almost snowy to back up into the 60s. Back and forth weather messes up, messes me up a lot. But um, fortunately, I got like a crap ton of sleep last night and woke up feeling better this morning. So, hey mom, I see Bethany, hello. So um, anyway, um, just to waste a little time before we get started, um, what's been going on in our world. We're trying to, the husband, I mean, I need to do it too. The husband's like, you know, we need to make better choices when it comes to, you know, cooking dinners and stuff. Cause I mean, I throw stuff together and most of the time it's not the healthiest. But, um, made a conscious effort. Now we're not on diets, by, by all means, we are not on diets. We're just trying to incorporate more, you know, of those, those food groups that, you know, you're supposed to, have you know the vegetables and the fruit and all that stuff and less of the carbs kind of thing so anyway um last week was really good we did i did three different recipes that um i mean i'm keeping them because they were decent but um we didn't mind them but last night's recipe was a quick salad where you chopped up half um like four cups of kale and four cups of romaine and you mix it together and then you mix in this other stuff I opened up that bag of kale and I've had it baked before, you know, kale chips. But I tried it fresh out of the bag and it, no bueno. Mm -mm. It's just, um, to me, I told, I told Philip, I said, it almost tasted too fresh. Like I, we just pulled it from the ground. Like it tasted like it still had the dirt and all that stuff on it. By all means, I mean, you want your fruits and vegetables to be that fresh. But if I'm opening up a bag of kale and it still tastes like dirt, and I think honestly it was probably my head messing with me because the bag did say that everything had been washed and um, was ready to use, but I tried it and um, mm -mm. it was a little too leafy, fresh from the ground tasting to me. So um, maybe in a future recipe, I will try it cooked, but fresh in a salad ain't happening in this house. Just not happening. I, and I don't understand how all those people can, how if, if, if you're one of those people that does all the green smoothies and juices and all that kind of stuff and half of it is kale, I don't get it. I'm gonna have to use it. I can use arugula, I can use romaine, I can use another, I can use spinach. It ain't happening with kale. <laughs> rant over. It's a hashtag rant over or whatever. So anyway, um, like I said. So um, I do have a request. If you have any like super awesome he healthy meals, I mean seriously, things that you can just kind of dump together and is over and done with like 15, 20 minutes. And I prefer those things that are, you know, like five, six ingredients or less. If you have any of those healthy meals, send them my way. Help us out. I'd like some like tried and true recipes because um, this finding random things on the internet ain't, well, I mean, it is helping. It is working, but it's kind of like lottery, you know, you just don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, that's it. Done wasting time. So that's going to be super quick because the 
pie we're making this evening seriously is a super quick like fix it and forget it five ingredients or less that's it dump it all together that's it so the um <laughs> the martini this evening and i messed up i had full intentions of um doing all the fuss and the frills that i typically don't do but um i did not plant look ahead i had the ingredients so i didn't look at the instructions so um i'm kind of upset about that but that's okay we are doing the chocolate bunny martini now if i had paid attention to the directions and actually you know followed through and done um the way that is asking us to do um, they want you to take your martini glass, and you know that um, magic shell um, topping that you can buy in the bottle that's for ice cream sundaes or ice cream cones, whatever? You get that um, chocolate magic shell topping, pour it in a dish, take your um, martini glass, and roll it in the um, magic shell topping so you can rim your glass. And then you're going to take one of the um, marshmallow bunnies, the peeps or whatever, and that's how you're going to garnish it. So it's one of those things. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it's one of those that are like, oh, that sounds kind of fun. I want to do that. And then I forgot. So, yeah. I'm not always that prepared. <laughs> Anyways, so for tonight's martini, the chocolate bunny martini, it's still gonna taste the same because if you think about it, the magic shell was gonna um, dry up any, it was gonna dry and harden and you weren't really gonna taste it. Um, you're gonna need one part whipped vodka. You're gonna need one part chocolate liqueur. You're gonna need a half part of Kahlua and two parts of half and half. So um, I'm going, since I gave you the recipe, I'm going to just do it. That way, so we can keep talking. Um, yeah, if I can open it, that would be my luck. Most of the time I try and open everything before we get started because I'm that neurotic when it comes to making sure that um, nothing fails on me. So um, what did I say? One part whipped vodka. So next weekend is Easter. Does anyone have anything planned? Anything fun? Husband and I were talking this weekend. We're like, are we doing anything? We're like, hmm. No, don't think so. There was one time that I, um, I think I made him an Easter basket. I think one time. That was like one of our first couple of years together. But now it was just like, I think it's more for um, kids. I mean, it's a religious holiday, so of course you are going to, um, it, the, I mean, that's really what it's about. But the actual, you know, going out and doing something for it is um, more for kids. And y'all still, I refuse to buy the great big bottles of chocolate liqueur because here, the only kind you can find is Godiva. And it's a whole lot easier for me to spend $1.50 on this than... $35 on one of the big bottles. I'm cheap. I ain't gonna lie. I'm that cheap. Okay, so I've done that. Now it's my two parts of half and half, and then shake it up, and we are done. I'm still thinking about starting up like a donate to Martinis with Manda, you know, alcohol fund. That way, so we can keep doing this or whatever. But it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so all that. Take it up, I think. Yeah. I feel like I forgot something. I didn't know. Shake that up, and you are supposed to shake for um, 20 to 30 seconds to um, really get nice and cold. I've got a blog post, I think, later this week that I'm sharing on some really cool egg hunt ideas. Some that you've never heard of before and they're really neat. And like if you were to host an, uh, an adult one, it'd be a fun way to do it. Or if it's for older kids and you wanna change it up, then the standard, you know, just go out and find the eggs thing. These were some fun ideas. Um, let's try this out. Yep. I mean, what's not to like? I mean, whipped vodka, chocolate liqueur, and Kahlua. Pretty darn good. Yep. 
Really good. Okay, tonight's, um, I have that. Tonight's pie. I think the recipe, I think whatever I found, I think they called it a rainbow pie because guess what? The marshmallows are, I guess, kind of rainbowish colored. But um, before we start, I'm going to read through the ingredients because y'all know I tend to start talking and forget to mention that stuff and that's kind of important. So you need a um, graham cracker crust, just a plain graham cracker crust. You can make your own if you want, but why when you can buy them for a buck fifty at the store? Um, again, I told y'all, I'm all about saving money, but I'm also about, you know, keeping it as simple as possible. And if I, I mean, that keeps me from having to find graham cracker crumbs all over my kitchen. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but you need one graham cracker crust, one can of sweetened condensed milk, six tablespoons of lemon juice, one 14 ounce can of pine, crushed pineapple, well drained. I could only find 20 ounce cans. So I had to kind of um, measure out about 14 ounces or so. But a 14 ounce can of crushed pineapple, drain it really well. Um, you know, pineapple holds a lot of water, so um, that's important. One cup of whipped topping, three and a half cups of fruit flavored marshmallows. When they said fruit flavored marshmallows, I was just like, what are they talking about? And I, I mean, I kind of figured that they were talking about the, um, you know, the, pa the that pa that pack of, you know, pastel ones or whatever. But um, I never realized that they were fruit flavored. I thought that they were just, you know, colored for Easter or whatever, you know, spring holidays or whatever. I, I never put much thought into it. But then when I picked up the package and it legit says, orange, strawberry, lemon, and lime. I was just like, well, that's just, that's just too awesome. And then of course, you know, you can eat the whole bag and it's like 900 calories. Of course, the sugar content is not good. There's no protein. So, hey, Rosemary. So while we're sitting here talking about me trying to make better, you know, uh, health options. That's not what I need to hear. But anyway, um, you know, so they're fruit flavored marshmallows, but you need three and a half cups of them. Yep. Anyway, but here we go. And then of course, if you want, it's completely optional, um, extra whipped cream for the top. All right, in a bowl, you are going to take your sweetened condensed milk. I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of those, just dump it and that's it kind of things. Sweetened condensed milk and your six tablespoons of lemon juice. That's all, I mean, and of course, as with most recipes, when you mix these two, guess what you got to do? You got to whisk it together. So, whisk your um, sweet condensed milk and your lemon juice together. Really fancy schmancy, you know. Serious, we're already halfway done. This is literally like, we're almost done. Because once this is whisked together, all you're doing is dumping the rest in. So, I know that if you, um, ever are invited to like any parties, any um, potlucks at work or anything like that, and you have, um, and you're supposed to bring something, this is one of those things that if you keep the ingredients on hand, you can literally make it the last minute and dump it all together and um, have it ready for you the next day. So once you've done all that, then all you're gonna do is just fold in the rest of the stuff. So you're gonna fold in your 14 ounces of crushed pineapple that's drained you are going to um, fold in your um, three and a half cups of fruit flavored marshmallows. And then you are going to fold in one cup of whipped topping. And I'm pretty sure that, I can't stand it when I just like, throw half of it on the, I got lemon juice over here on the counter and whipped cream milk on the counter. I am the messiest cook 
As much as I like to keep things clean, I am the messiest cook. So all you're gonna do, like I said, is you're just gonna fold it all together. Once you have incorporated it all really well and folded it all together, guess where it's all going? Inside of that pie crust. But you just wanna, um, really do wanna make sure you mix it well because that pineapple is gonna take a bit to um, mix up and separate and get all together. But, yes, I did. Mersmary, I, um, we have a store here, Winco, that opened about a month and a half, two months ago. And when Philip and I were walking through it the first time, because we, we weren't going to try and, you know, buy anything because it was just that busy. Um, when we were walking through and I was just kind of, you know, I'd pick, you know, items to compare prices. I stopped there and they had some like Cool Whip mix-ins or something where they had um, Cool Whip that had, um, I want to say Oreos. I want to say crushed Oreos already mixed in or whatever. And I'm just like, that is like perfection because I can already take one of these and just by the spoonful eat it. So what I have not seen the birthday cake one or the birthday party flavor one. Um, I've been thinking, I've thought about that Oreo Cool Whip mix-ins thing or whatever for, um, I mean, I've thought about now for two months almost. And I've thought about going about, back and getting a tub of it for no reason other than me sitting there and eating it by the spoonful. So, um, yes, I remember, um, Mom, um, years and years and years and years ago when you were on Weight Watchers, way back when we lived in Enterprise, that was one of their, like, here's a healthy treat, um, you know, option. Y'all, this is, I mean, seriously, this will blow your mind. If you're trying to make healthier choices and you love ice cream sandwiches, this is, I mean, one of the best things you can do is go to the store and get yourself some graham, uh, chocolate graham crackers. You can, of course, you know, they got all sorts of different flavors. You can get, um, chocolate, you get the chocolate graham crackers, take your Cool Whip and make a sandwich out of it. So put your um, Cool Whip on each side of the um, chocolate graham cracker and then um, put it together like you would an ice cream sandwich and stick them in the freezer. Go ahead and wrap them, you know, separately that way so when you're ready to um, enjoy one, you can just pull one out and um, freeze them. And they come out just like ice cream sandwiches. So, so, so good. So, um, yeah, that is an awesome idea to, um, instead of using just the plain Cool Whip, to use those mix-ins. And I would imagine, I mean, of course, it's not healthy. But you could even, before you freeze them, take the sides and roll it like in sprinkles or chocolate chips or something like that. Okay, um, so after you have thoroughly mixed it all together, that's all you do is you just dump it into your pie crust. Smooth it out. Now, I still have a good portion in here. But um, what I've noticed in the past is if you sit there and you kind of, you know, keep piling it on the top, I mean, yeah, it still works out, but it's just not as pretty when you go to cut it. And I want to be able to cut a pretty slice. So um, I'm not putting all that in. So I'm probably going to um, put that in a separate dish so I can eat it by the spoonful later. But that's it. You're just going to smooth it all out, make it all nice and, you know, pretty. And then you are done. You are going to put the lid on that. And you are going to stick it in the fridge overnight or, you know, at least um, four at least, you know, you want to refrigerate it, you know, for like four hours, four to six hours. But ideally, of course, overnight. So like I said, it's one of those things that you can quickly mix up the night before a potluck or something like that. And you've got something you can just reach in the, you know, fridge the next morning and grab. That took us like, what, five minutes? Not even five minutes. Probably about five minutes. Either way, <laughs> y'all get it. So um, that's it. I'm gonna stick that in the fridge and I'm probably, I probably won't try it until tomorrow, but um, it's done. 
That's it. And you could probably, I mean, they say that you can, you know, of course, put more whipped cream on the top if you want. I think that it would actually more, I mean, if you want to theme it up a little bit more or um, make it a little bit more spring, take the rest of your um, marshmallows. Once you cut a slice, just, you know, drop a few, you know, sprinkle a few across the um, top. Yeah. Just because you can. I mean, it's your dish. I mean, but that's it. Seriously, that's it. I mean, can't get much simpler than that. So, um, yeah, still got 10 more minutes. Anyway, um, but I'm not going to keep y'all here. I'm not going to drag this on for another 10 minutes. Um, we've got another, let's see, next week. Got something going on, I'll say in a minute. But in two weeks will be the Martinez with Amanda um, anniversary. Special, not, it's not special. Y'all know that, it's not special. Um, <laughs> um, in two weeks though, we will be doing uh, the Martinez with Amanda happy anniversary night or whatever. If y'all have any questions, things that y'all wanna ask um, me specifically, things y'all wanna know, um, any ideas you guys have, something I should do that night, send them my way, send me your ideas. Um, I kind of, I mean, I could just sit there and you know, just spout off, you know, things about myself you may not know, but I kind of want to make it a little bit more fun. So if you have any fun ideas for stuff to do that night, send them my way. Send me your questions, your ideas, kind of, you know, help me make it fun. I want to do what you guys want to see. So um, help me out there. Next Monday, we will, well, it will be the Monday after Easter. So we're going to be talking about after e Easter activities. If you've got children, you probably um, will have those plastic Easter eggs, that plastic grass. You'll have a crap ton of candy. You will have a ton of Easter paraphernalia stuff floating around the house. So um, next Monday night, I'm going to share some ideas on how you guys can use those items after Easter. That was that you know just keep dragging the fun all you know on a little bit more. Um, it's just one of those, I mean, keep those plastic eggs year round, especially if you have young children. Super easy to get creative with them. And um, just because they're supposed to be Easter doesn't mean they can only be used at Easter. So next Monday night, we're going to be um, talking ways that you can continue using those items after the holiday has come and gone. So um, that's what we're going to do. And then next Monday, the jelly bean martini is what we will start with. So, um, there you have it. Guess that's it for tonight. Do me a favor, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, go like them, please. <laughs> um, send your ideas, your recommendations, your advice, things I should do, things just I should see, things just I should consider. Um, I'm learning this as I go, so I need your all's help. Um, I've got a ton of ideas, but I kind of need help reeling them in. So um, do me a favor, send me your thoughts, help me out, and I will see y'all next Monday. Bye.